Hello, this is Nikki from Moon Lane Children's Books and Toys in Ramsgate and we're back with a Moon Lane TV book review because it is almost starting school time for some children or going back to school and we've got some books that have come out recently that are going to fit the job perfectly for reading to your little ones at bedtime and preparing them for going to school. The first book we're going to look at is When a Dragon Goes to School and this is by Carol Hart and it's illustrated by Rosalind Birdshaw and it's out on Nosy Crow and this is such a lovely little story especially reading to your little ones because it takes you through the whole day at school and Little Dragon goes to school and does all things ranging from play times to lunch times to tidy up times, story times and it's all a little bit about what Little Dragon is not going to do and the right behaviour and then at the end of the day it's lovely because Little Dragon just wants to go back to school again and again and again. So this is really good and it's rhyming as well which is always lovely and always keeps little ones attentions. Now time for a swashbuckling adventure to get your little ones happy about going to school. This is Pirates Don't Go to School by Alan MacDonald and Magda Broll and it's out on Little Tiger. And this isn't the attitude of the little pirate, it's actually his family. So it's a bit of a reverse psychology book. So all of his family, they're like, what do you want to go to school for? What's the point in going to school? It's horrible. It's full of monsters. And yet the little pirate is like, no way, I don't believe you. I really want to go to school. And he goes and he has a really fantastic time. So much so that at the end, his family come with him. And um, all sorts of swashbuckling, blooming adventures are going on at school because he sneaks his, his parrot under his hat. And it's really good fun. So there we go. I really love this one. It's I Have to Start at School Today by Simon Phillip and Jed Adamson and it's out on Simon and Schuster. Um, it's such a sweet story. If you've got an older child at school already and maybe they've been over the years um, sharing some stories about school that might not be so positive then maybe the younger one who's about to start is feeling pretty nervous and um, full of worries about what's going to happen on his or her first day. Well, this is super. And it's all, all the anxieties that she's got going on. And then grandma comes along and sits her down on her knee and wipes away her tears and helps her to think differently about what could happen on her first day. And what happens? It's absolutely fine. And everything that she was worried about was nothing none of that happened it was all absolutely fine and she had a super time so it's a really lovely one because it's, it's just popping with color it's just really lovely and um it's just a real family scenario of siblings at school and um granny's getting involved it's lovely i wonder who's going to be king of the classroom on their first day at school. This is by Derek Barnes and Vanessa Brantley Newton. It's out on Scallywag Press. And this is just absolutely fantastic with all these incredible illustrations. It is just such a beautiful book. And it's almost poetic in its language. Um, it's really good at, at puffing, them, you know, pumping them up, ready to go um, into school for their first day. And the language is fantastic because it's you will feel, you will be, everything will be great. And it's just that positivity is really absolutely being infused through the letters and the words in this book. Um, it's it's great. There's no there's no uh, worried. The little boy is not worried at all. In fact, he's just like, I'm not your baby mummy anymore. In fact, I'm daddy. Yes, I am growing taller. But yes, I'm going to be bigger than you one day and you're going to be my little man. And it's it's really good. It's just so fun. It's just really awesome. This little boy is so proud to be going to school on his first day. And he's kind of embracing all the new um, the new things he's going to come across. His new teacher, his new friends, his ride on the school bus and all that kind of stuff. So um, it's really lovely and I would very much recommend this story. It's very sweet. The next book I'm going to talk about really caught my eye actually. The Sunday Blues. And this is by Neil Layton and it's out on Hodder Children's Books, Hachette Children's. Um, 
the thing that I really liked about this book and that I thought was really important was actually it's quite overlooked um, how anxious children, some children, can become on a Sunday when they realise that it's school the next day and they've been having such a lovely time with their friends and family at the weekend and they just don't want to go back to school and it just fills them, it gives them butterflies and fills them with nerves and so maybe they're not really going to be able to enjoy um, Sunday as much as they'd like to. And this is great, so it just takes him through. We just go on the journey with this little boy on a Sunday and all the things he's trying to do and his parents are really helping him to try and forget that it's Monday the next day and it's school. Um, but when he gets to the playground at the end of the book, it's brilliant because, and it's just like, it's quite um, comic-y the way it's done. So it's really accessible, it's, it's really fun, very big illustrations. And um, at the end, it's fantastic because what happens? He just gets into the playground and all the children rush over to him. Hey, hey, what do you want to do? Let's go and do this. Let's go and do that. And actually, he's like, yeah, maybe it's not that bad after all. Um, so I think this is a really good going back to school book with a twist, something that I haven't actually seen before done in this way. And actually, I think it's going to resonate with quite a few children. I hope you've enjoyed our Moon Lane TV book review for new starting school books that have come out over the last few weeks ready for September. So if you want to buy any of them, of course, you can go to any of our Moon Lane bookshops in London or Kent. Um, otherwise, make sure you go and visit your local good independent bookshop. Thank you. Bye bye for now.